All right, a lot of people have asked me, uh, there's been, I don't know how many requests for this piece. If I would do a piece like this, this is one of my, this is, this is when I get really get serious about flat plane work, this is the type of piece that I, I usually do, or one similar to it. And now this one hasn't been antiqued yet, I just got through painting him. But when I really get serious about flat plane, this is the type of figure that I end up doing, in other words, with a coat and stuff like that. And, and many people have, I've had many requests for this piece, but not, whenever I do this piece, I usually will cut out the side view on the bandsaw and I will cut out in between the legs before I do them. Like most more advanced carvers that have the equipment and stuff like that, like a bandsaw and stuff. But a lot of people do not have bandsaws. And I have been asked, I don't know how many times, to carve what I carve one of these type of flat plane figures and show you without cutting it out with a bandsaw because they don't have a bandsaw just out of a block of wood. And yes, that's what we're going to do. Now this is probably more for the more intermediate type carver, but uh, I have agreed to do this and actually this is cut from a two and three quarter inch piece of wood wide. That's why his legs are able to come apart that far by, oh I think that's uh, I think it's two and a quarter or something like that. Yeah, about two inch, two and a quarter as far as the um, piece is. Now, so I went out and I cut the piece of wood. This is, okay, let me set my piece over here. This is two and three quarters by two and a quarter. And I took and I drew out the figure. Now we have carved a figure out of a block of wood, a smaller figure out of a block of wood, but this will be a much larger figure. Excuse me. This figure stands around, oh, almost six inches high. Okay? So the piece of wood you'll have to have and get off get all the sawdust off of it will be about six inches high by two and three quarters wide by two and a quarter long now understand that whenever this is usually what it looks like whenever I cut the piece out on a bandsaw and I just cut this out and then I cut in between the legs okay but you're going to be doing the same thing, but you're just going to be doing it with a knife or with a gouges or whatever you want to do. And that's the difference, see. I just I have basically the form that it is cut out, in other words. But what we're going to do, we're going to take the knife and we're going to remove all of this. It will take a lot longer, I admit that. But one of the things we want to do first is, like from the bottom here, measure up where the tip of this coat comes, which is a one and a quarter, and come over here and come up one and a quarter, okay? And I'm going to mark that there, okay? And we're going to mark that in here, okay? And then from that point, we're just going to kind of draw a long line across there where, where that's going to be, where that's where the tip of the uh, bottom of the the coat is. Okay? Alright. Okay. Now, let me get my materials here, which is my knife. Now when you start When you start a figure like this, 
and you're actually making it out of a block of wood, the first thing you want to do is, is once again, let's, let's kind of come up here where our head is. And we just want to kind of go across here. You can use your, your uh, I have the pattern, so if you, which from the top, we're, we're coming down about one and a half inches. So all you have to do is come over here, put this knife down so I don't cut myself. <laughs> one and a half inches over here and you draw a little line so that from that line to that line is going to be your head uh, where your head is actually it's more like this okay so what I like to do when I'm having to carve something like this is immediately start off with the head or, or, or removing sort of removing this area in here see what you do is you end up doing what the saw what the saw would do and that's what a lot of people don't have I know they don't have a band saw. So basically what you, you're doing is you're just removing a whole lot of wood. And uh, Okay. I'm going to draw, draw my knife across there. And cut like that. There you go. What you do is you kind of come up like that. Now you, if you know, if you use a lot of gouges, you can use the gouge but I'm basically going to use a knife now the same thing with the shoes if we measure the shoes they come up about from the bottom oh three quarters so we're going to measure up about three quarters here and we're going to make a mark there so from the shoes we're just going to kind of uh, run across here just like this see give us a general idea it doesn't have to be perfect that way we can go down and we can remove the wood now the reason it's so much wider is because the on the specific if you look at this carving right here there's quite a bit of room between the feet there's quite a bit of room in here okay and I like that style I like the way that looks okay so we're going to take some wood off In this area kind of following the pattern a little bit getting a general idea right like in here A lot of people say, well, I can't carve a figure like that out of a block of wood. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. And I'm going to show you how you can do that. It just, 
what what you have to do is with your knife